Welcome to a cause and effect analysis on why are so many T-Rex feeders missing? As a quick refresher, our cause and effect diagram, also sometimes called an Ishikawa or fishbone diagram, is from the Lean Six Sigma tool set. It allows us to illustrate root causes for a given problem. Today we're going to be looking at a fishbone diagram, so we're going to be creating a head which defines our problem, which is also our effect in our cause and effect diagram. And then our spines on the fish are going to explore the categories of the causes. We're going to use our Ask Why, our 5 Why technique from Lean Six Sigma, to dig further into those causes and try to identify the root cause. Our example is going to be based on the movie Jurassic Park and taking a look at the T-Rex feeders and why they keep going missing. It's not going to be a very detailed example, but it's just going to help us illustrate how to use this tool. Looking at our cause and effect diagram, we can see that our effect on the far right is the missing T-Rex feeder. Let's take a look at our causes. Getting started with the dinosaur in the top, we can see that the dinosaur could be a cause as to why these T-Rex feeders are missing. We start off by looking at what is that first cause, and we can see that the T-Rex prefers human flesh over, let's say, a goat. Well, why is it that our T-Rex would prefer that human flesh over a goat? We could identify that our T-Rex wants to hunt. And we can see that perhaps the goat being caged and not actually being able to run away or not being able to have the same sense of fear by trying to run away from the T-Rex and looking around, that could be the difference between, let's say, a goat and a human. Asking the same question again, well, why would our dinosaur want to hunt? This could also be instinct. That could potentially be another reason why. Looking to our bottom left cause of the process, this refers to the process of feeding our T-Rex. We can see that a human actually has to feed the T-Rex. Well, why is it that a human has to feed the T-Rex? That could be potentially because the machine costs too much. Of course, if I was the owner of Jurassic Park, I'd want to do a cost-benefit analysis to understand what is the cost of an insurance policy on a human, also the liability of having a human eaten by a dinosaur versus a machine, but again, this is just a hypothetical example for today. And the third cause is our procedures, and our procedures refers to the actual training or the information that our feeders have been provided. Looking at the first potential cause, we can see that the feeders try to run away. Well, the reason they try to run away is because of fear. And the reason why they're in fear is because of the T-Rex's roar, or potentially because there are bodies of other staff members that are also still left inside of the T-Rex's cage. Of course, if the procedures were updated to reflect the rules in Jurassic Park, we know that the T-Rex's sight is based on movement, so if they just simply stood still, then the T-Rex wouldn't be able to eat them. The other flaw in our procedures that we could potentially see is that our feeders are going out in the dark, so they can't actually see where the T-Rex is in the night. Well, the reason why they go out and feed in the dark is because the manual doesn't specify when to do it. We could assume that maybe our feeders are just trying to save this task to the end of the day because they're not really very excited to go out and have their lives on the line to feed a T-Rex. In a nutshell, that's a very high level look at our Jurassic Park cause and effect diagram for why we have so many T-Rex feeders going missing. And we're done, that concludes the session. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If you liked what you saw, please click like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much.